Much of the innovation in the smartphone arena over the last few years has come in the form of foldables. It seemed like the full Pixel Fold story was told roughly this time last week after John Prosser spilled the beans on release dates, prices, camera specs, and more and then a short hands-on video surfaced online followed by a pretty much complete list of key features. As it turns out, not all of the big questions regarding Google's first ever foldable device were in fact answered at that point, and a few small but important ones may have been incorrectly answered initially. Evan Blass is here today to set the record straight on everything from battery capacity and charging speeds to product dimensions, as well as add some previously unknown tidbits like screen brightness and detailed camera specifications to the equation shortly after leaking the clearest, sharpest, and most official Pixel Fold images. With the introduction of Android 12 liters, Google aims to ensure its mobile OS is optimized for this new generation of devices with larger displays and more flexible layouts. It also paves the way for the company's first foray into the foldable market. As per the leaks, the internal display will be a 7.6-inch old panel with 6 to 5 aspect ratio, having a resolution of 2208 by 1840 pixel resolution, while the outer display will be a 5.8-inch old screen with 17.4 to 9 aspect ratio, having a resolution of 2092 by 1080. The best part about the displays are their peak brightness, which 1450 nits for inner and 1550 nits for outer display. Apart from this, everything is same as we heard in earlier rumors regarding its camera and processor. The thing which makes it stand out is its IPX8 water resistance rating. The most obvious competitor to this first-gen Google device with a second-gen Google chip under the hood. For the title of best foldable phone in the world right now is Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 4. The Pixel Fold is very clearly an entirely different beast, although you'll have to decide for yourself if you like that extra short, wide, and thin body more or less than that of the Fold 4 and the largely unchanged Fold 5 around the corner. One important advantage Google's rookie foldable effort could hold over its rivals is some additional battery life, made possible by a heftier cell than previously expected and heavier construction than both the Fold 4 and 5. On the not-so-bright side of things, last year's Tensor G2 processor is unlikely to keep up with the state-of-the-art Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Silicon virtually guaranteed to reside inside the Fold 5. That might prove an especially problematic choice if Google decides to price the Pixel Fold at the same $1,799. There is currently no reason to expect the Fold 5 to become more expensive, and unlike the IPX8 rated water resistant Pixel Fold, that bad boy could offer protection against dust as well and an overall sturdier build. The Pixel Fold's two screens look pretty exciting on paper, with impressive brightness and resolution numbers, and knowing Google, those five cameras listed should perform rather well in most real life conditions and scenarios. But will that be enough to make you cough up 1,800 bucks or up? So, what do you guys think about these specifications of upcoming Pixel Fold device? Let us know it down below in the comment section, and if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.